Mr. Conrad! <laughs> Mr. Conrad! Great. The Return of the Moron. All right, we are back to the escape from the Asylum Banger and Edna and Harvey, the breakout anniversary edition. We are finally home. I've also been asked if I'm going to check out the other game, which is um, Edna and Harvey's Harvey's View Eyes or something like that. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. If you want me to check that out after we're done with this, let me know. I'll see what I got going on at the moment, and if there's enough interest in that, we'll definitely give it a little pixie or two. Um, for now, though, we have to apparently broach into our house. So, we got Smoker Dwarf, Order Dwarf, Fishing Dwarf, Breakdance Dwarf, and Mower Dwarf. Okay. Door in a mailbox. Let's see what we got for a door. Can we just pop it open? Hmm. Locked. I think my father always hid the key in one of the gnomes. I used to throw firecrackers in here on the 4th of July. Is that probably why it no longer stays closed now? <laughs> Perhaps. You know, the other thing people want to do as well is to, especially in this part of the game, use Harvey on items more often. So you know what? I shall do that. Let's go ahead and use Harvey on the Smoker Dwarf. What do you make of this gnome, Harvey? It should be lined up against the wall with the others. Harvey! What? Gnomes with pointed hats are rebellious insurgents, without exception. Think of Papa Smurf! Or Karl Marx! I mean, he's not wrong. That Karl Marx and that Papa Smurf, you know they were up to no good. Both of them. Probably together in cahoots. Mad of time! Hmm. I think my father kept the key in one of these gnomes. It wasn't this one. <laughs> well, I guess we just gotta find the right one. I don't mind breaking all of them, to be honest with you. It wasn't this one. No, oh, color me surprised. Alright, Order Dwarf. It is time for you to go down. I guess it's just you and me now, Django. Oh, and he's unchained. Well, look at that. Here's the key. It's always the one you try last. Oh, how convenient. Apparently, um, Django also left uh, a couple of shards here for us. Is that something we need? He started it. He did. Do I need those shards? Maybe he'll be of some use now after all those years of misery. No. He disappeared momentarily, but he came back. But we took the shards. They were there. Shards. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. What do we got here? These are the remains of the ugly mail-order gnomes. This is where his ugliness got him. Well, you know, it's either the mail-order bride or the mail-order gnomes. You know, sometimes you just gotta make a sacrifice. Um, I guess that's about it, huh? Sure. These are the- No, 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 I, I did want to, just out of curiosity's sake, Harvey? Uh, Harvey? Look, Harvey. Garden gnome casserole. It's still unnervingly ugly, even as a pile of shards. Alright, well, clay shards. I do wonder what that's going to be for. But for now, let's see. We got a key? Let's step inside. I can hardly wait to be back home. Finally. Oh no! It's broken and stuck in the lock now! Oh. Oh, of course. Why, why, why would it be that easy, huh? You know, you got a key, you have a door, you open it. Oh, it's gonna break now. Let's go to the back of the house. All right. Oh, this is where they, have, they were having that one picnic in one of our temple morph things. Table, French door. I used to behead Alfred's G.I. Joe figures on this table. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Don't behead the G.I. Joes. I had a lot of those growing up. See, I didn't behead on myself. What would happen with mine is that they would rip in half. You know why. I mean, if you're around my age, you know why. The G.I. Joes, they were so stretchy. You know, they had that little rubber band and the torso and the legs. You'd pull them a little bit too much and they'd rip and suddenly you have half the G.I. Joe. In reality, I would consider it two G.I. Joes for the price of one. I can see a lot of tools that might be useful. Tools is something I think we need right now with that broken key. Pliers. Well, there you go. That's going to be the answer. Do you remember how we always used to bury Alfred? You were the fastest digger west of the Mississippi. I can't imagine why that kid hated us. Look, Harvey. The old lawnmower. Yippee! Finally, we can play Hunt the Frog again. Oh, Harvey. How can we do that without Alfred? Oh, that. I'm sorry. See, for a second there, I thought it was almost as morbid, like, you know, they're trying to run over frogs with the lawnmower, which is still pretty sick. 
But when the frog was Alfred, it, I guess it just perfectly makes sense. Uh, could we grab any of these items, by the way? We could take the spade. Why? It is Don't need that. What about the rake? It's already mine. Oh, cute. Imagine we can't take the lawnmower. Gloves. We could always use gloves. Those are only for people who don't like to get their hands dirty. Do you remember how we played dentist with Alfred? I think it was the day Dr. Marcel beat up Mattis. Hmm. Marcel and Matt is a little bit of a throwdown, and apparently we would try to pull his kid's teeth out with the pliers. Do we need those? Yes. And um, we could probably more than likely use that plier to hopefully get the key back. I'm not sure if we could still open the door if it's broken, then they're just kind of like press it on in there and turn, hopefully. We'll see. And off to the back. Okay, yeah. These are all places from the Temple Morpharia, so that's kind of cool. This is where the window was at, too. Oh, the window's still there. This is in the way, though. Thistles. Can we remove the those? The forest has reached Dunzanane. Hmm. Well, we have a spade, right? Right. This will take care of the weeds. Get out of here. Okay, so... Window. Basement window. Well, let's... So this is how it looks from this side. Right. Can we open it? Oh, no. It's jammed. Ah. On top of everything. Ah... Hmm. Locked. Okay. I think everything might be locked, so how about we try the pliers here? On you. Good idea. Great. I have the remains of the broken key. Oh. Well, I mean, we got the... I was hoping we could just nudge it in there and turn it. But no such luck. We got the broken house. How do I get inside, though? Let's break in here! Exactly. No... I don't want to destroy anything. Not more than it already is, anyway. But uh, we need to get inside. We're not here to be sentimental about the old place. What about the basement window? Can we do it on that one, maybe? Oh. We're inside. We went through all that just to get inside by using the mallet on this thing, of course. We have a furnace. Did we use you in the Tampa Morph? I don't really quite recall. The age-old Iron Furnace. Harvey, any interesting stories that you want to share with us about the furnace? Look, Harvey, the old furnace. You dried Alfred's shoes in it one time. He had to walk all the way home without souls. <laughs> uh, you know, you kind of have to put it away from the furnace, not inside the furnace if you're trying to dry something, I imagine. Penetrating oil. Oh, giggity, giggity. I used to drink that all the time. That actually explains a lot. Sink passageway, plant windows, back doors. Can we pop you open from the inside? That would be very ideal. It's already mine, I think. Oh, right. Um, use it? Hmm. Locked. Well, you're inside. Unlock it. Pot? What do you think of it, Harvey? This toxicological experiment of your father's is a smashing success. If only he could have been here to see it. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine how tasty that would be. Uh, ten years, is it, in the future now? <laughs> Do we need this? Oh. Whoa. I'm freaking out, man. Okay, um, sink? It's so filthy that the dick. Right, right, I mean, use the sink? Hmm. The water must have been cut off. No water. Alright, let's go to the passageway. Kitchen where we came from, living room. What are the chances you're open? Oh. Surprised. <laughs> like there's gonna be another thing that's locked. Painting? Look, Harvey. Our old painting. Obviously, even the burglars didn't want it. <laughs> it's the work of art. Do you what remember this table? table, Harvey? This is where we sat, solved jigsaw puzzles, and played Spanish Inquisition with Alfred. I wonder if his toenails ever grew back. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. Classroom, bathroom, study, upstairs. Start off with the study here. Hmm. Okay, we have a photo, I think, back there of us. It's, um, the old, um, it's essentially what the game was before the anniversary remaster we're playing. That's essentially how the game looks before it. Um, can we take that picture? Do we need that picture? Harvey? 
Do you know when this picture was taken, Harvey? Hmm, I don't think I was there. I gave it to my father, and it shall stay with him. Oh, this is his room. I thought it was our room, considering the... It's a quaint little bedroom. I mean, I kind of like this, to be honest with you. Can we take this? My father never allowed me to play with it, but I can't see him anywhere. <sighs> yeah, because he's probably dead. Maybe. I guess. So, we got lighter now. Very good. Can we light this candle? I'll light it in memory of Dad. Later. It's very anticlimactic, really. Uh, let's go outside. Bathroom, classroom. What do we got in here? Water tap. Well, apparently the water is off, but... Oh. Hmm. The water seems to be turned off. Okay. Harvey, any stories about the tub? Do you want to take a bath, Harvey? Ick! No! <laughs> Resounding no. All right. Classroom. Oh, oh, this is also from the Temple Morph. Oh, I didn't know that was inside of our house. I thought it was like somewhere else, not really a classroom. So we were technically homeschooled. Okay. Hey, I remember now. This was the star in the second flashback. You're not wrong. Well, actually, the star was really Alfred. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Do you remember this cupboard, Harvey? I still can't believe those barbarians locked you in here. <laughs> that is where the Carmen San Diego code is at, too. Hey, um, can we can we find that code, maybe? No! I, I mean, no. Mm. PTSD, huh? Yeah, I feel you. All right. Um, upstairs. Where do we live, then? Maybe this door? Got a window out there, too? Anything with this? I can see the street. Are those red lights flashing in the distance? Yeah, they're still probably chasing us, searching for us. Hmm, locked. Is this the door to my room, Harvey? Yes, yes, this is the one! I can hardly wait to see all our old things again! Hmm. So we need to get in there, but, um... We need a freaking key, broken house key. What about the master key? <laughs> can we use the master key? I'd use anything at this point. Bummer. Doesn't match. I will certainly not stick it in there again. <laughs> it's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Sorry. So we, we got something to solve here. Now, it does seem a little bit fishy to me. There's a lot of locked things that we have run into. One, can, please go down. One of the things I have noticed, though, is that we did retain items that we have used thus far, right? We used a mallet for some, well, a lot of things thus far. Um, the odd ones are the fact that we still have the master key even though we left the asylum. And we have the pod holder and the pod, which is something we also use in the asylum to essentially make the master key. And the way we made it, oddly enough, was when we got clay and water and then we made the freaking mold and we basically made our own master key, right? And I am noticing that we have all the ingredients for that still. So I'm curious if that's what we got to do. I think I could use some mud right now. Wango Bango. What is Wango Bango? I don't know, I just... It's something I made up at some point, but I'm pretty sure it's not mine originally. I must have heard it somewhere, and someday just said it. And I made it mine. Wango Bango. Damn clay. So, um, we need to... We need to mold it. I'll make an impression by pressing the individual parts into the clay. Great! It worked! I was born in it. Molded by it. So what we need to do now is probably go back downstairs and the furnace, of course. So we need to heat this bad boy up. More than likely this where a lighter comes into play. Let's see what this old furnace can do. Ah, oh, and it's still nice and warm for us. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we could just put this in there, right? Too. What worked one time? There it is. Look at it. Look at it. Um, we need to probably use the old pot holder to get that back, though. Yep. There it is. So we have the mold. Now, the problem is, how do we get the, um... Well, we need it... Oh, oh, right, right, the, 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 the key. Melt the key. Oh, you... Okay, maybe this man. will help. That's why we still have the key. Melt it again. All right, um, there. Do I'm it. I'm terribly sorry about this. But I have to melt down the master key again. 
Just one more time. So it looks to be melted now. Let's go ahead and uh, grab it on out of there. Children, the gold is ready. Mmm, delicious. So now we got you, and I guess we just combine my bad boys. Good idea. I'll pour the gold into the mold. Gold into the mold. He's done it. Okay. So, cooled off mold. We need to get you out of there, maybe combine yes. with the mallet. This should work. Yippee! My own front door key! My father didn't want me to have one. That was to prevent you from escaping your room. After all, the same key fits the lock of your bedroom, too. Oh. <laughs> so it, it can be used for the, the front and back door. The house key was also our bedroom key. Intriguing. Uh, I'm going to go there and check it out, but let me see if um, this works now. There we go. So now we need a shortcut to go outside for any reason. We got it. I don't know what it is with me and shortcuts, but I love them. So let me do it. Do it. This really is my old room. I've made it at last. The only thing I need now is my diary. Do you remember where I used to keep it, Harvey? Strange. This memory is still hazy. But I think with all these items here... It should be easy to tempo morph to the past one last time. Oh yeah. We'll just hide the diary someplace where I'll be able to find it in the present. Or we could just have a look at it right away. Even better. What are we waiting for? Let's go. All right then. Hang on. All right. Last tempo morph too. So I guess we are towards the end, huh? Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. What am I doing wrong with you? Putting a lizard down the back of poor Alfred's shirt. Is this the way I raised you? <laughs> right. I can remember that. My dad grounded me. As if this door could ever contain us. We're only interested in the diary, Harv. Mr. Conrad! <laughs> Mr. Conrad! <laughs> Great. The return of the moron. What's the matter, Alfred? Will you punish Edna now? I was about to do that, yes. She has to be severely punished. The monster bit me in the shoulder. I won't be able to play the violin ever again. Rest assured that the punishment will fit the crime, Alfred. I hope so. My dad says your disciplinary actions for reprimanding this hyperactive lunatic... Thanks. ...are... Politely put, insufficient. Oh, so that's what he says. We should use a scorpion next time. If you don't mind, I would like to keep watch personally. Just to make sure that her full penalty is served. Go ahead. And now come out of here, please. That stinking little weasel. Just ignore him. Let's just try to find the diary. I actually really low-key enjoy Alfred a lot. Mr. Thornbush! Mr. Conrad! You know, he's just a stinking dirty rat, and you know what they say about stinking dirty rats, right? Snitches. Get stitches.